Yo guys, what's going on? Jackson here from RuneCCG, and today I'm very excited to show you guys another video for RuneCCG, and I'm super excited for this one, mostly because it's showing one of, like, probably my favorite mechanic in RuneCCG, at the moment at least. Maybe set 3 will top it, but, um, yeah, before I get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, um, if you like this mechanic, I've already shown this mechanic, of course, before, but, um, yeah, just let me know down in the comments if you like the artwork or whatever. I really like the artwork, and I love the backgrounds, because in my game, there aren't really, like, complicated backgrounds, and these are the only multicolored backgrounds in the entire game. So, if that didn't really take it away, it was. So, basically, in set one, there were no upgrade cards so if you're seeing this group of cards before this one's a set two card but everything else is set one but if you can't guess what i'm going to be talking about today it's of course <laughs> upgrade cards i love them i think their artworks look so cool and i think they're all really powerful too because you basically they upgrade it you discard Take this card. You take this card away, and then you basically just have a super powered version of it that can use any runes to attack. Doesn't matter what color they are, because of this orange background, which is really cool in my opinion. Yeah, but yeah, but sorry about that. Um, anyways, let's just get in to show you guys all of these um, plus cards, and I'll show you the two support cards four set two that came out for this kind of it's kind of like an archetype it's just kind of a mechanic i like to think of it as but you could think of it kind of as an archetype i'm not really sure what to call it though so the first one was sun spirit plus it's 10 hp 275 attack which is just monstrous and it only takes two um runes of any color for it to attack really powerful card here especially in the red like aggro red decks that were very prevalent in the meta of only set one. So, yeah, I think this really made red just as good because it gives them a whole another way to play the game. Like, you can have a super powerful Sun Spear that doesn't kill it, like, doesn't get rid of all its runes. So, it's really powerful. Next, we had Nepata Mecha Dragon. It just has oh, a lot of stats. <laughs> It puts so much stats on the field for a four cost, and honestly, it's just a force to be reckoned with, to be honest. It's it's really powerful. All these cards are, but this one's especially powerful. Shvilpi plus, um, yeah, like most of the plus cards are more just overpowered or powered up versions of themselves. But Shvilpi, I don't know, I really liked Shvilpi, just regular Shvilpi's ability, because it's basically whenever you gain a point, you get to flip over the card, and its stats are now those stats. So I really liked Shvilpi. But having oh, way more stats is always better than having a changing stats. But still really cool. Next we have Mort Plus. Morph is, of course, the joke card of set one, but Morph is actually becoming a very powerful deck. I might have a video coming soon on that deck, because it's actually really good. But, yeah. Next we have Tartusi Plus. It's just a pretty powerful card. It's, honestly, it's not as good as Shvilpi Plus. I'd probably only be running Shvilpi, but it has more health, so that's nice. And then we have Trankalent. It just, it has so much stats, guys. Like, this is, this is the most, this is the best plus card by far, uh, in my opinion. Mostly because Trekalent has an amazing ability. Basically, you can search your deck for um, tons of green runes and put them onto it. And then, put it on Trankalent Plus, and then you have all these free runes. And the negative part of Trankalent's ability is it loses stats every rune you like search up to put on him but if you put Tranquiline up he has all those stats and four runes to attack with right away very powerful card but yeah uh guys let me know down in the comments down below uh, what you think of the plus 
strategy. I don't know. It's not really a strategy. They're more just add-ons to existing strategies, but I like them. So let me know, guys. Just let me know if you like them. Uh, I personally do. Uh, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.